guys, I'm Adriana and welcome to our channel, Smith Party of Six. So today I'm actually going to be doing a review of one of the binders that I use for learning activities with my four-year-old right now. This video was actually requested by a viewer. I was super excited um, to get the request and so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for her and hopefully it's helpful. I will say one thing like about reviews. One thing about reviews um, when it comes to me, honestly, it's like I can find something useful in pretty much everything so i'm not somebody that's um very critical whenever i'm re reviewing i just feel like almost anything can be useful it just kind of depends on the way that we use it so i'll be sharing kind of the way that we use it honestly though this is something that um would be useful either way even if you're um not using it to its to its fullest potential it's good practice for the kiddos anyways without further ado we will just go ahead and jump right in um i will do a quick little flip through for you guys All right, so diving right into these pages then. Um, the first page that I showed you, this one, you'll see I've kind of marked it up. Um, I have mine down in like these plastic slip covers, so then you can use it with dry erase markers. And I just have marked on there some of the um, letters that she was having trouble with. Honestly, she's not still having trouble with those anymore, but I don't usually use this page out of here anymore, which is why it's still on there. But I had kind of put a box around them to remind me which ones that we needed to work on the sound for or work on her recognition for. And moving right along, there are um, different pages. Um, most of it has to do with just drawing a line to match, which is good um, when they're advanced with understanding the letters and their sounds, but not quite there with the handwriting yet. So if your kiddo is like that and you want them to be able to get all of the like pre-reading um, steps taken, but at the same time, they're not good with handwriting and stuff that a lot of other um, curriculum usually wants them to have, then this is a really good choice. So for a lot of these, they draw um, like a line either from the letter to the picture picture or from the word to the picture and both of those are awesome there's also stuff in here um, with circling the correct letter that's in each box so basically just being able to recognize which letter it actually is so like for this one it's really good it has um, like B's and D's and I know that um, for my for my kiddos that was always kind of like a rough one to be able to remember you know which one is this we're working on that currently with my two-year-old so that is also really good um, and then it also has pictures where you circle the beginning sound of each picture we really like those two and this also like breaks it up with the letters so like you have like a through f at the beginning and then as you progress um they focus on different letters at a time we also really like these activities throughout the book where there um are the circles with the letters inside of them it was good also to do with my toddler in the beginning when she was first learning about letters because it's like a matching so we have like lids that we have collected off of our water bottles <laughs> Um, and I took a Sharpie and just wrote lowercase and uppercase letters um, on each one. So like, you know, one has an A, one has a B, one has a C, whatever. And we use those as manipulatives um, a lot. And we actually use them when we are doing the matching for these. It also comes with like a page with the circles with the letters that you can cut out, but it also recommends using um, lids. And that's something that we had already had and we had already done so we just 
I have them match up the lid with the written um, letter onto wherever it goes on the cake. And like I said, those are kind of like sprinkled all throughout the book. There are different ones too in there. Um, also right across from that is filling the, in the missing letter. So learning alphabet order. Um, and it comes with these that you cut out. So when you're on the page and there are these open boxes, then they just fill it in with whichever letter needs to come next. Beyond that, there's a lot of like pre-reading type activities. So activities where a picture is shown and you need to match it to the correct word. So I always, cause I'm a little bit like intense, but in a good way, I, I'm not like crazy strict on them or anything when it comes to learning, but I do go ahead and have her actually sound out both of the possible words. So just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, like on this page, ant or plant so i'll have her sound out both words even if she sounds out ant first and it's the right one and she knows it's the right one that's fine but we're going to go ahead and figure out what the next word is anyways so it's just more reading practice there are also activities like this where there are multiple pictures and one letter and you have to circle which of these pictures would start with the beginning letter she likes those as well and then the other type of activity that's in there is um, matching two words together. Um, so that's just being able to recognize that it's the same thing, which is another pre-reading type of activity. So throughout the whole binder, it's those same activities, um, just repeated with different letters, different pictures throughout the whole thing. So it's a whole lot of practice for them. Like I said, I put ours down into plastic slip covers because then we can do dry erase and they can practice however many times that it takes for them to fully understand. And then also, since I do have four kids, then I can use it for all of them, which is great too. I mean, I never had to use it for uh, my son who's six now, but I can use it for all the rest and it's it's a good tool to be able to use. Um, I will say that I use a lot of other things too, so it's a good um, tool to use in conjunction with other things. I know that um, the woman who created it, all of her children were reading by like age three, which is really awesome. So obviously that worked for them. I don't know what other things that she used, but I pull from a lot of different sources for mine just to really reinforce the material that I'm trying to go over with them. Um, but this is one awesome piece of the puzzle and I will go ahead and put a link for it down in the description box too if you would like to go purchase it from her like I said we really like it my kiddos enjoy it um, I use it for like I said my four-year-old daughter and she has fun with it um, we also do like other little um, reading books and things like that with her too and I will try to put a link for some like early beginner books down in the description box as well and maybe just a few other like letter phonics types activities um, that we like to do to kind of give you guys a more um, well-rounded set of activities to be able to teach reading to your little one too all right, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Leave them down in the description box and I will answer them. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will catch you next time. Bye. Bye.